Hello, welcome to karting. My name is Ariel. I'm a kart racing driver. And today we have the new configuration of Sarno Napoli. First of all, they changed the start-finish line. It was right there after the new uh, first corner, but now it is here and uh, basically they moved uh, the wall paddock. So this is the first corner, uh, it's flat out. Yeah, it's a bit scary because we got a little bump here, but uh, if you do it right, you, you can gain uh, a bit of time here because some drivers still didn't understand this uh, turn. And uh, it's a good opportunity to gain uh, the gap you need to overtake in the second corner. We are here in the second turn. Uh, basically, it's a start of the world uh, first sector. If you make a mistake here, you basically lose in the world first sector because you have here a snake and then a 100 rarity. And if you don't take it from this corner correctly, then you will make mistake at that corner, that corner, and because of that, you will make a mistake in the 180. This is why it's important to be perfect in uh, the second corner. This is the snake, uh, there are a lot of snakes in the hot summer, but this is a bit different snake. It has uh, three corners, and uh, as I said, a key point here is just to exit the right from the second corner, and then you just drive, and uh, basically where the card goes, you go. So the key point is just the second corner, and after that it's pretty easy. That's the very high curb that we have here in the middle of the snake and uh, I was taking it uh, every lap in the whole weekend. Most of the drivers didn't do it and I think that uh, I didn't have really big lose here but I did uh, lose a bit on the, this uh, exit of this corner so probably that uh, the mistake is hidden there. Uh, so basically, yeah, it wasn't that bad, but still, I need to have another look on uh, the snake. So here we have the start of the second sector. Uh, there is a little snake, and it's important to be perfect at the first part, because you want to prepare for the second part, and uh, then you want to be perfect in the second part, because then you have a long, 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 long street, and if you want to overtake the breaking point there, you need to be very perfect here. And if you don't want to get overtaken at that breaking point, you also need to be very perfect. Here we are at the end of the long street, and uh, this is the old uh, second turn. It didn't change much. Yeah, it's pretty much the same as before, so nothing changed. And I think that uh, because I gained about two or three meters uh, at that corner, I uh, was able to overtake uh, a driver at the last corner there. Here we are at the next part of the track. Three corners uh, connected to each other because uh, if you do a mistake here, you will bring it uh, up to there. And if you do it right here, you will bring it good up to there. For that corner and basically put the apex pretty late, you can see on the white line that uh, the black mark is pretty late. It's uh, pretty tricky, but when you understand it, it's a good point to catch up and basically overtake at uh, the last corner though. So we're here in the last corner. Uh, this is a pretty hard breaking point. It's a good opportunity to uh, overtake, uh, but when you overtake, you must not forget that uh, after that corner, you have a really long street. So it's uh, really important uh, not to put the RPM of the engine to down. Uh, you basically need to listen to the uh, engine and uh, be with the perfect RPM because, uh, as I say, there is a long street after it. 
Thank you for watching and thanks to my sponsors.